Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to Alpha 15. I am playing the console version of 7 Days. I'm playing this on my PS5, but unfortunately that is not going to make it look any better, run any better, or feel any better. This version is pretty clunky. I'm going to try and make this gameplay as smooth as possible. But like I said, it is a bit clunky, and I am way out of practice using a controller. I am a mouse and keyboard guy. I used to play console exclusively. This is where I started my seven days career, on console, believe it or not. Matter of fact, a lot of my uh, habits in the game come from this version. I think uh, there's going to be a lot of nostalgia going on. That's one reason why I'm playing this, because you might ask yourself, why are you even torturing yourself with this version of the game. Well, one, like I said, for the nostalgia of it. I think we can pick this back up, right? Uh, there we go. All right, we'll scrap that. And uh, I'm also playing this in honor of all of the people that are still stuck on this version. I want to feel a little bit of your pain today. There's got to be more people on console than on PC, just because consoles are... Uh, more affordable, of course. However, nowadays there are options. NVIDIA has GeForce Now, which is a cloud gaming service. So even if you have an inexpensive laptop, you can play new modern games on it using that service. They're not going to run as good as they would on a high-end gaming machine, but you can still play them. However, with that said, console players want to play on console. And they want this game updated on console, which is coming. And that is the third reason I'm playing this today. I can't believe I gotta punch this tree 15 times just to get some wood. I only need one piece. I got 12. That'll work. Uh, I still need five stone. Here's one. And some feathers. Uh, but yeah, when the updated version of this game comes to console, I want to play it. And... Probably do a series on it as well. I mean, it's going to be the same version as PC, but I thought it would be interesting to try and do it on console. Play with the controller. It would be a little more challenging for me. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. Just sticking around with the old version. Getting a feel for it. Look at this place. You know how long it's been since I've been in this BOI? I know exactly where I am, too. This perfect spawn point. We are... Right by the farmhouse. That is where I'm headed after this. Oh my god, it's going to be so nostalgic getting in that old farmhouse. There's a cooking pot. That's a great grab. Some food. Empty can. I'll scrap that for the iron. Nothing in the fridge. There's a bathroom back here. Oh, there's a medicine cabinet, too. I didn't think there was one. Blood bag? Nah. I'm just playing through the first day here. Uh, we're gonna cruise to the farmhouse, check that place out, and then maybe head on over to Dyersville and get killed by a pack of dogs. Uh, I could harvest that chair and the beds, but I didn't even craft a stone axe yet. We gotta go do that. There we go, that's five stone. There's the axe. Get it moving. Oh, I gotta get more stone and more wood and more feathers. Now the game wants me to craft an entire set of plant fiber clothing, which is uh, a habit I formed. I used to do this all the time when I started, make a whole set of this clothing. Don't really do it anymore. But that's where the habit spawned from. Console version. Here we are, baby. Look at all that corn. We are right by the farmhouse. Yeah, this is a beautiful spawn. You can get some food. I mean, corn doesn't give you much. I think it gives you like 1%. But when you're first starting out, it's better than nothing. Brass candlestick. We'll scrap that for the brass. Let's go ahead and put on all this plant fiber clothing now. You gotta wear it as part of the quest. Bam! 
Done. Now what do you want from me? A wooden club. I should have enough wood to craft one, but we're gonna need more wood. Farmhouse is this way. There's a zombie. Where's the club? It should be here in the basics. Oh, there it is. Um, well, we're gonna need more wood for the frames, because that should be the next thing. Oh, no, the next thing is, is a bow and some arrows. Can do that. Ten arrows. Let's bring the bow down. Load up an arrow, and now it should want me to craft the frames. Yep. I'm not going to have enough wood to upgrade them. I can get a little right here. Still probably not enough. Uh, let's cruise down the road this way. We'll search that car, we'll chop down that tree, get these uh, quests done. And then we'll head over to the farmhouse. Uh, hubcap. We can scrap that for iron. I'll take the paper. Alright, let's chibity chop this motherfucker down. Trees don't fall here in Alpha 15. They just disappear. I made 13 frames. We need 3 for this quest. And then we'll have 10 left in our tool belt. And this is where the idea of keeping frames in your tool belt came from. This alpha. Because this alpha is crazy. You can get attacked by a pack of dogs on day one in the forest biome. So I'd always carry frames on me, because if you're fast enough, you can pull up a tree. Frames stick to trees in Alpha 15. And the reason you pull up a tree and not just pull up into the air, because then if the dogs destroy the frame at the bottom, you won't fall out of the tree. Our stats are looking good. It's crazy that you have to look at your player stats to see if you're hungry or thirsty. There's no food or thirst bar in the HUD. We are done. Go over here. We've got five skill points to spend, but the skill tree is much different. Uh, we can't go into Sexual Tyrannosaurus because that requires ten points, but we can go into Athletics. Let's see what else. Archery. Uh, blunt weapons. Oh shit, I'm going into athletics. You gotta actually click on the thing, idiot. There we go. Let's go into archery. And we went mostly athletics. That's fine. We're athletic now. It's not a bad thing. Uh, where's the trader? Way down there to the southwest. Definitely not heading down there now, so I'm going to take that off of the HUD. Is that it? Yeah, toggle active. There we go. All right, we got our skill points spent. We got a wooden club. We got a bow. Let's get some more food. Head on over to the farmhouse. Why am I just getting seeds? I don't want seeds. I want corn. Oh, that's right. You got to go for the big ones that have the ear of corn, and you can pick them up. You don't have to punch them. That's what I was doing wrong. So the little ones, you just got to give them time, and eventually they'll become the big ones, and then you can pick the corn off of them. Another thing they changed, I don't know why they did. It seemed fine. The whole farming thing seemed way better in Alpha 15 than it does now, but my guess is they changed it for uh, performance reasons. Got a whole bunch of zombies out here, because that's what zombies do. This one trying to sneak up on me. Fucking soccer mom Karen over here. Fuck off, Karen. Oh, shit. I hit the wrong thing. I didn't mean to duck. I meant to sprint backwards. That's how you have to kind of fight them here. Oh, no. She's not dead. She's just stunned. Oh, never mind. She was dead. Some water. Thanks, Karen. It's nice that you can search zombies. That was another good thing. Another thing taken away for performance reasons. But, uh, like I was saying, this is what zombies do. They hang out outside of POIs, not inside of them. So once we clear out all these fucks, we can go inside that farmhouse and not have to worry about some zombie hiding uh, in a cabinet or whatever. Which is 
Not a good thing. I like zombies inside POIs. It's way more immersive. That's just how it was back in this fucking alpha. Fuck you, Karen. Yeah, bitch. Get out of here too, lady. You don't want any of this wood. This big old club of wood. Dead. Now for you, Mo. Mo's been around forever, hasn't he? Let's hit him with a couple of arrows. Aim for center mass, because aiming with the controller is just not my forte. Not with this game, anyway. The movement is so weird. It's hard to get, like, precise aim. Oh, come on, Mo. Just fall. Oh, you son of a bitch. Better not kill me now. That would be embarrassing. All right, he's dead. We're at 51 health, though. That's not good. These bodies are starting to deteriorate, but we can still search them. There's some food and a painkiller. Rotten flesh, and can I not chop that up? No, I guess not. I thought I would... I thought I was able to chop that up for bones and shit. Maybe only with the animals you can do that. Well, I got some... Some animal fat there. From a person. Kinda weird. I don't need the rotten flesh. Or the corn seeds. Hey, let's sustain a little bit of life though. Why not? I'm gonna use our first aid bandage now. We got a painkiller too, so not worried about it. You the last one, buddy? Come here, let me smack you with my wood. Another brass candlestick we can scrap. And he's got a pane of glass, which I'll take. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna use that for. Probably nothing. Let's get into the old house. I can check the mailbox, not that there's going to be any magazines or anything good in there. If anything, maybe just a little paper. And, uh, door is locked, so we gotta break it in. Let's, uh, put our own door up before we go any further. Because, like I was saying before, the only zombies we gotta worry about now are the ones outside. So we want to keep them outside. Well, let's go to iron. There we go. Look at this place. Holy shit. It's been a while. Uh, you know what else we can do here? Just in case some more zombies come along. Bam! Let's upgrade it. Can't, I don't have any more iron, but that's good enough. Alright. What do we got in here? Oh shit, that's sweet. Oh god, remember the days when you'd find a pistol in just random places? Four rounds, but you know what? There's already 15 rounds in it. Yeah, remember when weapons used to have ammo in them already? Oh, the good old days. I keep thinking I'm gonna run into zombies, but... There aren't any. There might be some in the basement, right? Aren't there zombies in the basement? I don't know, I, I feel like they're gonna be, but at the same time, I, I, I don't think there are zombies in POIs. Well, come on up here, lady. Come get some, why are you hiding down there for? Come here. Oh, a quarter. Come on, walk your ass up here. Oh, never mind. Get up. Let's give her this. Oh, <laughs> I hesitated. Nice. Can I search you? Oh, I can't reach her. Well, we should pop this open and put a door back here anyway. I crafted a new stone axe instead of repairing my level one because crafting a new one gave me a level three. That's how it works here. The more you use something, the higher the level of that thing you'll be able to craft. Uh, we don't got to worry about putting a hatch back here, I don't think. Um, so that's another thing that I think a lot of people miss. 
action skills. The more you use something, the better you get with it. And the higher the level of that thing you'll be able to craft. And that just makes sense, you know? Fridge is empty. Let's eat this tuna and throw some stuff in here. All right, the spooky basement. We got a locked door, which I swear, I remember there being zombies behind this door, but I could be wrong, I guess. We got a table and a prison toilet just out here in the open. Zombies? It's gun safe. It's gotta be clear. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of Alpha 15 on PC. It's possible that Alpha 15 continued getting updated on PC and, and not on console. Or maybe I'm thinking of Alpha 16. That's probably the case. Because I switched over to PC once Alpha 16 came out. There's dead body in here. No zombies, though. What you got on you, buddy? Nothing. It's a lot different up here. No attic steps. You gotta take a ladder up to the attic. It's, it's so weird. Having no zombies since indoors, you know? Duster. Give me this thing back. Be nice if it went into the slot that I had it in, you know? That's like one of the worst things in this alpha. Especially when you're repairing something. Like if I repaired my stone axe right now, it would go into my inventory when it was done being repaired instead of the slot that I had it in. And that's pretty fucking annoying. Okay, let's go uh, across the street, check out the barn, and then we'll head over to Dyersville. Yeah, there's no zombies in the shed either. I'm definitely thinking of Alpha 16. There just aren't any zombies uh, inside buildings in this version. Well, now we know how to craft a hunting rifle. Not much else going on in here. How do our stats look? I'm a little hungry. Really thirsty. Drink some water. And we got 10 ears of corn. I have to sit here all night eating this shit. You get 1.4% fullness from an ear of corn. Barn's just wide open. There's no, like, main stashes here or anything like that. There's just stuff to loot around, and you never know what you're gonna get. There's like, this tree stumps that you can search out in the woods, and you sometimes you can pull a gun out of a tree stump. It's just, it's so random. Everything is just random. I think there's something in the corner here. Maybe just some trash. Not a sports bag. Oh, hunting knife. That's nice, we'll bring that down. Might have to stab somebody in the face with that. And we should probably repair our stone axe. Okay, let's head over to Dyersville and check it out. This is a dumb move. I totally would not be doing this if this was like an actual playthrough or whatever. I would just go hunker down in the farmhouse or I'd be chopping down trees right now and use the wood to start upgrading the farmhouse. Be getting all my loot organized. You know, busy work. But since we're just dicking around, we're going to cruise over to Dyersville and probably get killed because I'm not geared up for this shit. You should not be heading to a town on day one on the console version because there's going to be zombies everywhere. Since zombies aren't in POIs, they're around POIs, they're going to be everywhere. There's probably going to be a pack of dogs somewhere, but who cares, right? We're just having some fun. Here we are. Here are some zombies. And there's a dog. Oh god, I knew it. Right on fucking cue. Well, at least it was just one. Got all these assholes to deal with now, though. I love the lighting, don't you? It's like I'm, I'm just fighting silhouettes.
Oh, God, fuck off, ladies. We're infected. Our wellness, uh, just got decreased by a point. Uh, let's go check out the hospital. Fucking Karen! Bitch! Oh yeah, look at this place. There's no, like, way to go, you know? It's not a dungeon style. There isn't, like, uh, an entrance that that's open. Everything's closed and locked up and boarded up, so you just kind of pick your way. You know, this looks like the quickest and easiest way to go. So this is the way we're gonna go. It's crazy to think that this giant building doesn't have any zombies in it. I mean, zombies can come inside from outside, but there's not going to be, like, any sleepers around, you know? Which is weird. Let's break in here. See if we can get some first aid. A shotgun shell and some 7.62. First aid right there. I might as well use one of those painkillers. See if we can find an antibiotic now since we're infected. I forget how honey works. Does honey cure an infection still in this alpha? I'm not sure. And can you still find honey from uh, breaking tree stumps? Again, I don't remember. Well, no luck on antibiotics there. Uh, I'm not gonna spend the time to break into that safe. I think I'm pretty much done here. It's the the sun's going down. We took a chance coming here. It didn't get us killed. It did get us infected, though. Let's go sexual tyrannosaurus with those ten points. Well, I guess. Uh, Nothing left to do, but walk around Dyersville. We could break into one of the houses. They're all pretty much the same. There's nothing special about them. Like I said, nothing's like a dungeon style. You just kind of break in and go through the dressers and shit, and hopefully uh, you find something that you can use. Oh, shit. Well... This is how it ends. This is the problem with coming to Dyersville when you don't have enough guns and ammo. Oh, uh, shit. And this is why I freak out about dogs. Fucking post-traumatic stress. Bleh. 